TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNet headquarters in Clearwater, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes into the trading day. Let's check in on the markets as all major indices currently in the green. S&P is positive by 9, trading at 27.57. NASDAQ positive by 22, trading at 71.75. And Dow Jones positive by 82, trading at 25,451, only about 550 points away from 26,000. Pretty remarkable. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on some of the futures markets. S&P 500, higher we go, 27.58 on the open. NASDAQ 100, we had some session highs at about pre-market session, 7.30 a.m., climbing a little bit higher. NASDAQ 100, currently trading 66.91. Dow 30, 25,429. Quite a number, quite a start to 2016. It just does not stop. We had negative markets yesterday, but man, they really rebounded off those session lows yesterday, and we're in positive territory already this morning. Natural gas, check out this run. So quite an acceleration from about 6.30 a.m., trading at about 292. From there, we trade up 10 pennies up to 302, pulling back a bit in about the last hour to right at about $3. And of course, 30 minutes from right now, we'll have those EIA inventory numbers on natural gas. We'll see how that affects that market. Euro US dollar, check that out. So some ECB concern going on there. Euro spiking 120.48, quite an acceleration at about 7.30 a.m., that news breaking. And Bitcoin, how about the cryptocurrency world? So you have South Korea talking about potentially banning cryptocurrencies, whether they're going to slash down on exchanges. That news coming out last night, you had Bitcoin up almost at 15,000, spikes to below 13,000, $2,000 dive in the span of only about four hours. You want some volatility, the crypto sector, and um, it's across the board. We'll jump real quick, you know, Ethereum getting hit hard, uh, Ripple getting hit, so across the board. Other fundamental news out there, you had jobless claims increasing for the fourth straight week, to 261,000 for the week ended January 6th. You had PPI numbers also out this morning. PPI falling for the first time in a year and a half, declining 0.1%. I believe the expectation was about 0.2% increase. And then also Delta Airlines raising 2018 earnings. And you had Walmart giving a pay increase. $11 is going to be their minimum with some bonuses. And let's hit up those two charts as we wrap this up. Walmart trading lower. 99.06 was higher pre-market. Delta up 1% was up a lot more than that. I'll be right back here at 10 o'clock with Tom. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks so much.